All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to be weighing the pros and cons of a potential MLB team in Portland, Oregon, and everything that surrounds it. I did this yesterday with Salt Lake City. Now we're going to do a comparison. And as always, we will start by taking a look at the overall odds. You can see Portland below Salt Lake City, but still right in the mix when it comes to MLB expansion. If it goes the way we expect it to, the 32-team MLB with 16 AL and 16 NL, I do not think they will change AL and NL at all if they do do a division realignment, which I think could happen because the AL Central is so horrible they're still going to keep the AL and NL traditions alive and well. And Portland is kind of like the second option, I would say, right now behind Salt Lake City. Although it is interesting because Portland also has a much more well-put-together plan, I would say, than Salt Lake City. Salt Lake City is very raw, very early in terms of their stadium and their district and their renderings. Portland, on the other hand, has had two main renderings, and we're going to go through both of them. So you can see this first one right on the water. Kind of has an interesting translucent see-through retractable roof. It would be the first translucent roof in MLB. I love that it's right on water, but you can see the stadium and just the uniqueness of it. Very minimal seating, very minimal upper deck. There's some good images of the translucent retractable roof. And then they also do have another potential area, which is where a current dead mall is located. And the idea here is it would be an entire complex as well. And they would build up, looks like six or seven different apartment buildings or condominium buildings, whatever you want to call it, with a very similar interior design going with the cascading upper deck look kind of at an angle. Looks like around 35,000 total capacity with very limited outfield seating, but you also do have some good views from those apartment buildings onto the field, and it gives kind of a community aspect to it. And then it looks like they also do have some type of translucent retractable roof as well. The other big feature when it comes to these renderings is the potential gondola going out in right field, you know, beyond the right field area. Very impressive. We've never seen a gondola inside an MLB game where people can go up, go around the exterior of the stadium in it while the game is going on. So pretty cool right there. It is called the Portland Diamond Project. And this project, it, it's been around for a while. They've wanted to get a Portland based MLB team. There's actually some really old renderings or like drawings all the way back around 10 years ago of what a potential ballpark could look like with kind of a you know volcano in the background or mountain. Pretty cool there, but that's just, just like a way old rendering. Certainly they're not going to be going with that right now. Let's get to the actual idea of Portland in comparison. The first thing we look at, it's city population, it's the market size, and we're really comparing it to Salt Lake City and Montreal, but mainly Salt Lake City. So Portland does enjoy a nice uh, population advantage over Salt Lake City. They're at about 640 thousand Salt Lake cities at about a third of that or maybe even a little bit less but the media market size really isn't all that different 1.3 million for Portland and then Salt Lake City is at 1.15 million the other thing that Salt Lake City says while technically the population within the city isn't very high they still do have a lot of surrounding areas with population kind of within 30 minutes and the ballpark would kind of be located in between the Salt Lake City Airport and downtown Salt Lake City. So they would try and mitigate the idea that they would have less of a population than Portland, Oregon. But Portland does enjoy a nice advantage when it comes to that. So I would say Portland would be the leader in terms of that. Now, when it comes to Portland's chances, this article just coming out you know, at the beginning of this month, Portland's quest to nab a Major League Baseball team are you interested in an MLB team coming to Portland? 70% of the respondents say yes, around 30% say no. And then the two proposed sites, where would the stadium be built? 
the Lloyd Center Mall, which is kind of considered a dead mall. It's very big, located in Portland. That's where 76% of the people want it to be. And then Red Tail Golf Course is around 24%, which would be the potential other site. Why it matters. Portland is one of the largest metropolitan cities without a professional baseball team. Supporters believe bringing one here could significantly bolster economic activity and the city's reputation as a hot spot for sports and entertainment. Rob Manfred has talked about it, blah, blah, blah. We know that, what they're saying. So a spokesperson for the mayor confirmed that Portland, the city, is in an active communication with the Portland Diamond Project, the organization spearheading the effort to bring an MLB team to Oregon's largest city. The Portland Diamond Project founder said via an email that talks with the city are advancing in an effort to align on the vision and explore the best possible real estate place to unlock the opportunity. The majority of readers who responded to last week's survey reported that they're interested in an MLB team coming to Portland and support the city's efforts to do so. Uh, so when it comes to this, also I just want to see the group has reportedly also offered Red Tail Golf Center, which is owned by the city. I'm not familiar with the Red Tail location, but what I'll say on Portland and why I have never been high on Portland as a city. So one of the things you look at, their population is actually decreasing. They have had some significant crime issues. And there's also another thing that's going on with Portland where there are some uh, eastern cities in the state of Oregon that actually want to leave the state because they think it's been so mismanaged. They want to join Idaho. That's a, a whole different thing. But I, I just think personally, based on the crime, we just, you know, we have the White Sox situation where a stray bullet goes into the stadium. I highly doubt MLB is going to do this. It's a nice pitch for sure. But the other thing is when you look at the crime, I, I mean, the number one, you can see the homicides just way up. But even on top of that, even if it's just, if it's just like regular crime, theft, a lot of it's just not going to be reported. So you can't even look at it in terms of, you know, it being represented via a graph because there's just, they let people steal $900 worth of stuff. And that's one of the cities that really allows it. So it is a big issue and, and I don't see it getting any better. The only way you get it better is if you put people that steal behind bars, there has to be consequences so they don't keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. But it does not seem like there's going to be any solution and this goes back and I don't want to get into the whole politics thing so I'm just going to stay away from that this is not a political video it's more just about Portland and why I think MLB probably views Portland as a little bit more unstable although listen let's be honest MLB is going to look at their population in comparison to Salt Lake City and say that's impressive you know that you know they possibly could get a better TV market maybe they'll bring us more revenue if they have a better attendance if they put together a better package with the Portland Diamond Group, it certainly has a much more stronger vision in terms of when you look at the renderings and both the different stadium locations. They're modern, they're unique, they've got a very cool retractable roof that it almost looks like the retractable roof is similar to the T-Mobile model where it's an open-air stadium but you still have the retractable roof and that would make complete sense because the other thing you have to think about You've got T-Mobile Park located right above them, right to the north of them in Washington. They're in Oregon. They have very similar climates in the Pacific Northwest. That could also be working against them, though, because MLB might already think we have that region covered, and that's why Salt Lake City, which is really not near any MLB teams, that might be a better option for them if these are indeed the two cities battling it out. You could also consider Montreal maybe being an option, but I haven't heard anything on Montreal recently in terms of MLB expansion. It's always just been kind of speculated that they're an option because they lost a team about 30 years ago. But I would say at this point, Portland, there are pros, there are cons. They do have a very impressive group together. Seems like the city is working with this group in an effort to try and get a team and maybe revitalize the city and the economy. They do have the Trailblazers there. I'll say the Trailblazers are well supported in terms of attendance. It, it, it never seems like 
I mean, the Trail Blazers have their own problems. You know, the whole thing with Damian Lillard. Now he's demanding a trade. Seems like they could never really get over the hump or attract another star there to really get them into actual NBA championship contention. But we'll see. Portland might be due for some type of rebuild. The Trail Blazers, that is. But but I would say the fan support there is solid. I mean, I don't think of like the Trail Blazers fans as being like some of the worst in the NBA. I think it's just a normal NBA. NBA fan base. There's there's really no issues with that. Um, so that's just my opinion there. So that is just my idea on the city of Portland possibly getting another professional sports team. You can see, meanwhile, others questioned whether public funds would be diverted to build a new stadium instead of being spent on affordable housing development. We have a housing shortage, not a baseball stadium shortage. According to one Portland resident, we can't let more people be priced out of the city just to turn around and build something optional. So yeah, that's the whole thing. You know, if this ends up happening, how does this get funded? Does it get funded through the city? And that would be a massive gut punch to the city of Portland who already has a homeless problem. They've got a crime problem. And now you're going to spend taxpayer money, possibly upwards of a billion dollars on a retractable roof stadium, that seems like a bit of a problem there. But I, you know what? I guess we'll have to see. Maybe they'll get some type of owner who will pay for the entire thing or they'll funnel money together. Either way, we will see. Right now, I would say Portland is, is definitely in the mix when it comes to MLB expansion. But I do think in comparison to Salt Lake City, while you could make the argument, yes, they have a bigger population, yes, they have a more well-put-together group, yes, they have a better vision than Salt Lake City, the intangibles of the entire thing with where Portland currently is, losing population, the crime is very high, and with the White Sox situation where MLB is probably saying, listen, the White Sox got to get out of there, they just got to go uh, because of the crime, would MLB be really all that interested in reinvesting into another potential hotspot area that could have some crime issues? I don't know. You know, I'm sure there are a few spots in Portland that are perfectly fine, but I do think we have to be honest with ourselves and say there is some problems with that city when it comes to the crime. Either way, we will have to see what happens. That's going to do it for this video. Make sure you're following me on X. Link to that's always in the description.